Captain! Captain! The Germans are coming! Today we're gonna play Naval Hurricane. Naval Hurricane is a war game set in World War One, and it's obviously out here on the sea. And we can play a custom battle, we can play missions, we're gonna pick one of these missions. So you can either have a battle cruiser versus a dreadnought, this is one versus one. You can have a dreadnoughts versus pre-dreadnoughts, so you can have like a stronger ship against some weaker ships. You can have a battle cruiser versus armored cruisers, so this is one versus two. And finally, you could do a destroyer attack, so it's four versus one. So we're gonna be doing just the basic version, one versus one. A dual battle between British HMS Invincible, that's mine. Battlecruiser and German SMS Nassau Dreadnought Battleship. They're both armed with heavy artillery, but SMS Nassau heavily armored carries more gun, but is much slower than her enemy. So let's go. Alright, so this is our beautiful ship. So the first thing you do is you gotta find where the enemy is. So the enemy is right there. You can sort of zoom in, oh, in with the binoculars to kind of see, like, oh, there they are. And firstly, we're going to decide how fast we want to move. So we're going to go at full steam ahead and then we choose how much we want to turn. So if you want to turn right, you'd use this compass and then you obviously have to adjust it to the front of your ship. So I'm going to be moving 20 degrees to the right. So obviously from this point, not from this point ahead as I think it's pretty straightforward. So let's move. And at this point, we need to orient our gun. So we want to orient our gun towards this enemy ship over there. Now, I, I am going to try to click on it, but it's too far. And when it's too far, we won't be able to get like a better data on it. But once it gets closer, we're going to be able to get uh, data here, which we're going to be able to see soon. So we aimed at the ship. We'll talk more about this data later. And I'm going to put the highest elevation because actually, no, let's, let's try an elevation of 12. So we don't know how far the ship is. So at the first shot, we kind of have to guess. So we're using this. We have three types of shells that we can use. We can use armor piercing caped shell, or we can use a common pointed capped shell, or we can use a high explosive shell. So this is all like the explosive charge and the strength. So we're going to go use these uh, armor piercing caped shells. And we're going to put 12 elevation. Is that too high? Is that too low? Nobody knows. We're just going to try. And then next time we're going to get some additional information. So this seems to me like we overshot. So we want to do less next time. Now, at this point, I'm using a different type of a gun. I actually know that this different type of a gun won't be able to get, shoot close enough. But I am. I'm, so I'm going to set it up to the highest elevation. And these are high explosive shells. 14 kilograms worth and muzzle velocity 700 meters per second so let's shoot and as you can see here we definitely undershot we can't quite get but it was the highest i could shoot so we're done shooting and now they go so they're moving so this is a turn-based war game obviously uh, there's a lot more settings to the game that we're going to be able to see once we actually get hit. So the way this game works is that until you get hit, it doesn't really show you like crew management and modules and etc. You only see it once you actually take damage. Also, this game is in early access. So I want to go full steam ahead and I don't think I'm going to be turning. I'm just going to go straight ahead. All right, so actually we do get info. So we can see that the first time we overshot significantly, this is where we shot. Couple things you gotta check are these inclination deltas. So currently they're zero, so that means if you wanna do the exact same shot as in the last turn, we just set the exact same values. But sometimes this can be, let's say, plus half, which means you have to adjust for that. So, and you can also zoom in here and you can see like how did the ship move. So it moved this way. So we, I think we're going to try something like a six. Well, actually, let's check it again. This was 12. So let's try something like a nine. 9.1. Still overshot. OK, so next time we'll try something like eight. With this second one, we still won't be able to get close enough. Uh, you can see it here. This is like way too far. And, and you can see the ships, they aren't moving that far. If you zoom in again, you can see like the movement of my ship. So this is going to take at least like 
eight turns before we get there so there's really no point in like shooting and potentially wasting your ammo so i'm gonna fire just to show you but you shouldn't be shooting if you know you won't be able to hit anyway so we'll just there's no need to do so Ooh, they almost hit us actually so this is a problem because they're getting pretty good at like Navigating how close or far they have to shoot. Not with the second one, but with the first one. Definitely. So we gotta... I, I'm gonna still move full ahead. I'm gonna turn a little bit towards them. Just because... But I'm, I'm trying to get as close to them as I can. So. Here we've got a little bit of our info. So our second shot was here. So this was the difference of three degrees. So we need a very small difference here. And they're now here. So if this was one, two, three, four, five, six tiles for three degrees, and we need two tiles, so we should do one degree, so we'll do eight. And hope that that hits. Ah! Oh, it was the right degree, but neither of our shells hit. And we're not gonna bother with the second one, so I'm just going to skip this fire. All right, they missed. That's good. That's good. I do want them to hit me so I can show you what happens, but I'm glad that they missed. Okay, they're getting closer with the second one as well. I'm gonna keep moving. I, I'm, I'm okay. Let's just keep moving the same way. Okay, we actually did hit last time, so that's pretty cool. But as you can see, they now move closer towards me. So I think right now we'll go at maybe seven. I'm gonna try seven now. 7.4 maybe. Yes! Look at us go. Doing great. I'm gonna try this one. I still don't think we've gone close enough, but we'll, we'll, we'll just so we can see like where we're at. That's essentially what I'm gonna do. Yeah, still too far, okay. Still worth a look. They missed me. Well, actually, did they hit one? We'll see. We'll see. Overshot on them in the second one. We, I mean, it looks like we really are invincible. Right, uh, we'll move. I don't think we need to turn this time. Let's just move straight ahead. Okay, we hit twice and we moved a little bit to the side. But the bearing should get itself adjusted. Typically does the... Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Good. I think we'll have to go at maybe 6.5 this time. A little bit undershot. So start slightly more next time, 6.7. And as for this one, you can see we moved, but it's still not there. So I'm not going to be shooting. Skip it. And let's hope they hit me this time so I can show you what happens when they hit you. Yes, good, great. I mean, I, I, I didn't need to be a fire, but okay. I think 6.8 is what we need to do next with our hits. We'll see. Okay, overshot the second one. That's good. Alright, so now we see what happens when you get hit. So we've got a couple of modules that are hit. So here you can see that we are being flooded. So the first thing I want to do is I want to focus on patching this up. This will take four turns to patch this up. I am currently have 16.64 meters per turn and I'm getting another 16.64 because of this thing. I can increase the priority for this as well, but it will, I'm losing seven meters per turn, but uh, so I'm still gonna be gaining more from the flooding. So it's not like super effective. Yeah. Uh, and you could, uh, you can get there to lower the fire. So I will try this, but we'll see kind of what happens. We have another setup here. 
Here we are getting a lot of flooding, so we're definitely going to need to... Oh, I can't do hull, patch the holes because structural gaps can be patched. So I can only try to get the water out, but it's not going to be super helpful because we are gaining so much more water than this. So I think we have to wait till we maybe fix the other part so we can get in there. And this is some place that we can't get to at all. So we can actually get in position because it's inaccessible to the crew. So let's just make sure... Oh, this is also inaccessible, so we can't even stop the fire. Okay, I guess we're trying to patch this, which will take four turns. What about these? Oh, this is on fire, but at, at least we could stop this. You can stop this turret, or the fire on the turret at least. And you can also click to see like things that don't have a problem. And here you can see how many uh, crew you have left. Uh, so we actually lost 15 people due to some of the attacks or they're injured. And then here we can see steam production, uh, electricity production, unused pumping performance, and unused firefighting performance. So we actually can try to destroy more of the fires. I have this set up to maximum, so it should should go there. And we try to use pumping. We can also set this up to AI, but we're going to confirm our orders. And we're going to keep moving full steam ahead. And no, I didn't mean to click that. My apologies. How are we doing here? So 5 we undershot for 6.5. And we have inclination that on minus, so, so let's do 6.9, 6.8 will do. Yeah, I will keep the inclination there, we'll see. Ah, overshot! Damn. Alright, and let's try to do 20 this time. I wouldn't even hit them, guys, but... Can't quite get in. That's so much now, so too strong for us guys. Too strong. Ooh! They definitely hit us this time. Okay, but they missed on the second one at least. So let's see how we're patching up our ship. It's gonna take us four turns to get rid of the, the patch data from the water, so we're gonna have some problems there. Most definitely, yeah, so you can see how we're looking. So you can see here, this is still fire. So we patch, we're patching this up, but it will take, oh, this will be patched up in one turn. So that's great. Left coal bunkers can get there. Okay, can get there right now. They're still inaccessible. So we have to try to kind of get there to the other places. We'll see how this goes. Okay, now I can actually try to get rid of the flooding here. So this will take one turn to get rid of the flooding. That's very important. And here, I think we could probably use a bit of this. It's not worth it. I'll leave the curve for some something else. And we also here can see we have not enough steam pressure. So I can send some extra people to go fix it, so that's fine. You can also change this to auto damage control if you wanted to, so we can just click, hey, let's just do that yourself. If you are kind of not sure, you don't want to set it up. So we overshot, and we definitely need to start moving in this direction with, with the shots. So I need a lot less. So I think I need like 6.6 .6 this time, because 6.4 was here. Oh, but 6.4 was from a shot. So I think actually maybe just 6.4 should be enough. Maybe even 6.3. And let me just, oh no, that's not what I meant. I need to make sure I'm aiming correctly. Let me just zoom in. Yeah, and we'll try the 6.3, let's go. 
Ah, oh, thanks, my dear. Oh man. Uh, let's stick to twenty. Still under shaving. Ooh, that looked like a strong hit there. We, we, I could be changing to some of the other shells, but I'm slightly worried that it will sort of mess up our measurements on how well we hit. So, I'm not entirely sure if that's something we want to do. We got hit pretty hard here. So the outer damage control, we'll see how well it's doing. It's it's still not even stopping our fires, honestly. I think we have got to do this ourselves. But we're actually getting rid of the fire quite well. It's just that we the patching up, like one more turn. Okay, I think we're just happy with this. I'm thinking, no, we still need to move ahead for the, for the 20 attacks to finally do something. So we'll keep trying. All right, so last time was still too close so we need i think we need 6.1 this time and just to make sure i think we're aiming correctly yeah i think 6.1 will be fine now we have a shot again well never mind and we'll do 20 but we'll undershoot as always Oh, but we got closer. Anyway, I think this is a good time to end the episode. I think you understand how the game works. And uh, you can click on right towards some other war games that you play on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.